Um, of African music and this afternoon I just want to greet everyone and say yep this is Queen V with African Guides for Kids show today and you know with this festive season I know yeah all right now I was actually like two hours ago I had gone to pick up a packet on the packet shop you know with people who are living in Germany and uh Whatever any part of the world, we know that there are those uh, places that DHL, you know, it's it's quite international, right? So I was going to pick up something, and Lord have mercy, I had to like line up for like a hundred and one minute to go and pick a piece of paper, like seriously, because it's a festive season, y'all. It's a festive season whereby we are celebrating Christmas is around the corner, right? Yeah, so everybody's sending their presents, everybody's receiving their presents, everybody's getting ready to get their presents. So, you know, and we're all getting ready to be beautiful, you know, and uh, looking awesome because this is a festive season whereby, thank God, it's quite international. As much as it's not international, it's international. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so... Um, right so we are all celebrating and it's just quite um it's just quite it's just quite fortunate that the whole world as much as it's not like international and international at the same time i would say like that um why am i saying it's international and not international at the same time because we believe that there are some countries whom they just they don't believe in christmas or their continents who don't believe in Christmas, but still they take the responsibility of doing the decorations and putting everything in order to just make sure that everyone, um, you know, enjoys it. Yeah, so that's why I'm saying like international, not international. You know, that's what I mean. Yeah. So yeah, and um, it's it's a time where everybody really, especially with the kids, with all those films they see with uh, Nicolaus and Santa Claus and uh, whatever clouds. So you know, they really enjoy watching those films and their small beautiful innocent mind they're just there and imagining oh my god father Cla i wrote a, i wrote i wrote a letter to uh santa claus nicolaus your parents you know what you do to your to your kids yeah so you write a letter to santa claus nicolaus and you have you'll get a present oh make sure that you be nice the whole year so you're going to get a present so and then there are these films which really come on guys Way I don't even know where to start. I don't know when it's where to start, especially with these films that are shown around Christmas festive seasons. Cause guy, sometimes they be like, "Oh my God, what am I going to do now that this this these people are showing these films?" And especially in Africa, we don't have snow, eh? So we have to create snow for our children. Anyway, talking of Christmas, talking of Christmas in Africa today's is that that will be our topic because I I had these questions uh, with a with a lady you know she's actually an elderly lady which I said I respect her um, the fact that she took the courage to come and ask me by the way do you Africans celebrate Christmas internet radio station in the world are you living in the diaspora oh yes 99.2 fm radio r this is your number one radio station stuttgart manheim ludwig kassi tibingen elbron all the way to kenya uganda tanzania east africa combined Anita Richards and Divino Richards to know when it's here, music here, can you burn it? Jumbo 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 Tom Amolo, Ambassador of Kenya here in Germany. I'm listening to Radio R FM, home of African music 
the affirmative African narrative. Karibuni nyote. Yes, we could. We have soothing music. Oh God, they go deep down in you, in our hearts, in our soul, in what you name it. And that's how we do it in Africa. We are good in celebration. Like I oh, like I said, like I always always insist. Yo, just celebrate with us Africans. And now back to the questions of this young woman who asked me, "Do you celebrate Afri Do you celebrate Christmas?" in africa yes we do and i'm going to repeat it i cannot insist enough that africans are number one celebrators leave alone this thing they say uh, kenyan we uh, kenyan women they drink too much then there's these nigerian women they do what then they these african men they do what let me tell you when it comes to celebration first of all we go with slaughtering and we don't slaughter a hen. We don't slaughter a, a turkey. You know, like how you people do it, eh? the rest of the world. Because everybody have their way, way of celebrating their Christmas, right? And everybody have their own uh, beliefs in, in, in when it comes to celebration, yeah? So whenever it comes to Africa, like it's something that we plan for days, for years. And we, because we do it in a, in, a, in a festive mood, like from the bottom of our hearts. Let me tell you, Mayo, eh? we, you, when you get the kids, eh? kids first of all, Nani, this is the best part. Until the other day, I was, I was doing the same, just to give myself the memory of how it felt when I was young, is that that is a moment where you have the best dressing code, like for real. Like... You know, if, if it is uh, for the girls, you, you have the princess kind of dressing. You know, so you dress, you're being dressed like a princess, you're being dressed like uh, that, that's beautiful girl. Like, Jenny, you have to look at Nazita, Ngozahiki, Ngozaharusi, Ngozahwe. They had names. Huh? So, um, yes, we do celebrate Christmas. We do it in a very, very, very beautiful way. And then there is uh, there's also not only with the dressing, and this is not only the children um, who take time, who are taking their time, at, uh, or our parents take time for their children. Also, as parents, they do the kind of um, preparation. They do buying of beautiful new clothes. Eh? So because we take it Christmas as a very, very, very important day. Aki, you have no idea how we take it this and I'm telling you, even with the families, you know, like uh, with the families who don't like celebrating, uh, I will put it like that. Trust me on Christmas and it doesn't matter uh, uh, which part of the country. On Christmas, they will always notice it and just celebrate it accordingly. Yes, accordingly. They will do it accordingly. Yeah, accordingly, we, when I say accordingly, uh, we come together as a family. And it's not a matter of nuclear family. However, it doesn't mean that if you meet as a nuclear family, it's wrong. You know, nuclear family, it, uh, it's, insist, or it's, it's, it's made up of mother, father, and children, or mother and father, or children, mother, or children and father. It doesn't mean that it's bad. But in Christmas, we have the tradition of meeting as an extended family. Extended family, it means like the shoshos, the shoshos, it's like grandmothers, mokulu, mokulu, they call it in South Africa, mokulu. Uh, they meet the grandfathers, they could, they could, they meet the daddies, the papas, the dadas, the dadas, that's how they call it also in South Africa. Don't, I don't, don't ask me too many questions. How I've been learning the last times uh, too much of South Africa. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry, yeah? So, um, yes, so they meet up, all those kind of things. The children, they meet together. All this extended family, they meet together. The uncles, the aunties, the cousins, eh? The first cousins. Those are the time where if the people are meeting in your house, you have to have a separate tent because even the house itself is not going to fit the the whole the family, like the extended family, it's not going to fit in. So you have to have an, a, a, a tent. And that I'm telling you, this is not only like I'm not saying I'm not picturing my family. I'm picturing on how we did it or, how, or still how we do it out, out there in uh, in, uh, in Africa. So 
you meet all of you so uh and then that is a night where you know the uncles they are they're in charge of slaughtering yes because a woman during slaughtering if they are men to do that a woman an african woman is not allowed to do any kind of slaughtering Iwinjo. no woman is allowed to do any kind of slaughtering okay as as long as the men are there and that is in africa no woman that is a respect of showing a man a king as he is supposed to be that that is his work okay you remember when i we started this that uh, men their work was to go and look for something to eat like you know go hunting so hunting is made inside them it's created inside them that they can do the what the slaughtering so and that's why it's it's carried on also on christmas that a woman should not do any kind of what eh? of slaughtering and then we go to the lead uh, to the women uh, women we are you know we cook uh, the aunties that is the aunties maybe the older cousins if really necessary uh, the cold uh, the older cousins or the aunties they cook i mean the older cousins i mean the ladies the female part of the cousin the cousins they do the cooking they do um the preparation if for the girls they're told to go and uh, you know sweep clean everything everything should be tidy the decoration because yeah we have decoration don't think we have we go to the bushes let me tell you missy G, i don't even what kind of people we have in this world like seriously i heard someone asking me oh how are you going to celebrate christmas and your your, your place is full of um bushes guy you know sometimes i'm like oh my god where do these people even live i think one day i'm going to put some pictures really with this i'm going to put a, a picture just watch out the next part is that we have buildings y'all we have buildings with computers we have buildings with all these automatic doors we have buildings with all these staircases that the roll roll trapper that's what the german calls call them the escalators the whatever we have them so yes we do the decoration and when it comes to building a tent outside there you can imagine oh god Yo, you're making i just miss home i just miss christmas back in kenya uh, yes so um in the, all these kind of decoration you you know you do it they do it in a very beautiful way such that like, hey yeah uh, hey hey yes we have we have all these beautiful scenes when they, they you know the combination the togetherness and that's why we say with us africans uh we really we really do uh a lot of togetherness when it comes to whatever any kind of event uh, occasions and what have you so that one also brings us together it just helps us to go and work together with different people and that's why you see with us africans it's easier but they if you've noticed uh africans we can really work in any kind of environment it doesn't matter we might be in, in between i will call them because i'm not seeing anyone personally you can in be between people who are who believe in racism but still we are going to conquer it why because we are taught from uh from the from the younger age to do what to work together so you you just notice that we are strong due to those kind of occasions we work together we come together as a family as a nuclear extended you name it together and we work together you can imagine on that day of course we are we might be the most resilient and the most strongest people whenever it comes to work because yo yeah, well, africans can we really work like yo sometimes i'm like eh what is what is what is wrong or right with us because we can work our asses off yeah so um that is a moment you'll see that 
as much as we are strong in working or we love working, of course we'll have those cousins which are kichonguvu. Kichonguvu are those kind of people who don't want to work with you. They are just want to laze around. And now that we are together, there's um, there's a lot of people who say, ah, so and so is going to do it at the end of the day, yeah, because she likes to work. Oh, so and so is going to do it, yeah, as long as he has to work, he loves to work. So, yes, we have uh, people who are like that, and. It doesn't matter. We still get along with them. Can you imagine living in that kind of thing? So, yes, with Africans, we really get together in the Christmas times, and it's one of the biggest functions. I'm not going to forget to mention that. And um, before, I mentioned with the meds, the men's duty, duty of work is... Um, uh, uh, to slaughter, to make sure that the animals are really, you know, really cooked well. Yeah, if it's exactly. boiling, if it's being cooked, it's if it's uh, nyamachoma ish. That nyamachoma is the barbecue part. If there is, you know, and then the women are, you know, uh, are responsible of the cooking and all that. Then there are those elder girls who are responsible for the decoration, and then there are also young men. Yeah, young men are not left out. And uh, the young men also join as well with the young, older men to go and do the hunting and bring all togetherness. And also with the fetching of helping with the fetching of firewood and bringing the firewood together. Because let me tell you, you might say whatever you might say. We might have whatever, everything in this world, but the food that is cooked with firewood, Akivu can say that it doesn't taste better than anything else because why? That, I don't know, the fire would just bring it another rather. A rather, rather is a, what is it called? The taste that comes, you know, with the smoke combination. That's why with us Africans, we always cook food with smoke. You call us that world, uh, that world, whatever you call us. But food cooked with firewood. Ah, somebody stand there and try to say that the food does not taste good. In fact, we don't even need any kind of seasonings or spices when it comes to food cooked with firewood okay so yes yeah, so fetching of the firewood and then that is what brings the family together now you can imagine every part of the family every member of the family has their own duty uh huh and then they come to the togetherness and then the power that comes in between with togetherness ah, gosh the food even tastes better the next question was you guys do you believe in uh santa claus well, um, we don't believe in Santa Claus. I'm not going to lie about that. Yeah, wh why should I lie? Me, Santa Claus, we saw him on TV. Africans, we don't believe in Santa Claus. We believe in uh, there is Christmas, Christ was born, and that's it. And uh, Santa Claus, the way he comes on the 24th of uh, this thing, of December. No, we don't have. I'm not going to lie about it. And that's why for us, Christmas, in Africa, we celebrate it with, for Christians. We celebrate. It's not funny for Christians, even for the Arabs, whatever you, because we, in the Africa, we are made up of everything, okay? So uh, we do it on the 25th of, of December. Okay, the preparation and all things, they are done on the previous day, you know, like previous previous day and all that and people coming in so that they can know their duty of work the duty where they're going to take place on the following day yes um however we celebrate christmas on the 25th of december yes and um so with santa claus you know, uh -uh, i'm not going to lie about that and then with the decoration i said yes we have those all uh, those trees that you people invented we have them um because you know Yes, we are, we, we, we are trying to at least merge at one level when it comes to the international part of, the, of living. Yeah? So we have those, all those decorations and all that. However, I'm trying to imagine if there were not those decorations, how would we do it? It would be as beautiful as it should be with, without decoration. So for us, Christmas is it can be with or without decoration. We still have going. We're still going to take that day as a holy day and celebrate it together as a family. Okay. And the other question was, uh, wait, I have to read it. I'm sorry. I had to I had to take all those questions with my head. Um, uh, do you do the church service like we see it on TV? 
Yes, we do church service. Uh, might not everybody is going to take part whenever it comes to that because there's somebody who has to remain at home to do the some jobs. Eh? We do for those who believe in going to uh, to going to church. They do. There we have our ancestors. We have, I'm going to explain it in a in a very short way. Next time I'm going to continue with this part of it is that uh, we let those people who want to go to the church service to do it. They do them, we do ours, so yes, we do it uh, differently. And then with our ancestors, where this is the whole whole discussion of next time, make sure to join me next Saturday to continue with this part of how do Africans celebrate Christmas when it comes with the slow uh, to, to, to our way when it comes to real deep traditional way of celebrating Christmas okay however I'm going to do it right now with the generation um, or you know you have the XYZ kind of generation so I'm discussing more of the late Y and the early Z's or now right now Z's generation is that uh we do the kind of services they go to church and all that the decoration we have the trees we have all those uh, balloons and whatever you know however we've not lost the taste of meeting us together as a family and losing uh, we've not yet lost that part of that anybody taking the uh, the part while celebrating uh the part and position when celebrating christmas yes um, the other question, I'm going to go through them. Uh, yes, uh, do you get gifts on Christmas? Yes, we do do celebrate, we do have, we do exchange gifts. Yes, and like I said, uh, we are doing the now's generation. Yes, we do the gifts. Uh, gifting of people and giving people their gifts huh? so yes we do the gifting you know like uncle aunties cousins and whatever yeah so and somebody be wondering oh my god how am i going to uh, uh give everybody especially with the extended family how am i going to do it how am I going to do it to celebrate the Christmas with them to, to give everybody the presents of their Christmas? Now, how we do it is that we meet, as um, especially for us now that we are more grown-ups, we meet together. Like, 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 that's why I'm telling you, with Christmas and Africans, it's like working together, okay? So we meet as grown-ups and we tell this family, you're in charge of your... Like, for example, my brother and I, or my sister and I, or my cousins and I, we're going to just meet and we say, you know what? you family so and so because we have our elders uh, okay so the elders are going to meet and they're going to say okay family so and so are going to uh gift family so and so okay and this family so and so okay like family a is going to give family b and family b is going to gift family c so that there's no way we are going to say at him the 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 families are going to a and b are going to gift each other no we go like a gives B, B gives C, C gives A, A, uh, C, uh, or C uh, get gifted by Z, you know? So that's how we do it. So we do the division of working so that they can, everybody feel welcomed and nobody will feel over, 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 like overworked or, you know, you have to take more uh, responsibility than the other. So yes. Um, that's how we do it when it comes to presents. Yeah, what if the other family have more members? So this is how it, it goes. There is no way my grandfather or your grandfather is going to take something or it's not going to give you work that you cannot be able to do. So yes, they also check on how the kind of level and how you can do it. And I find it very quite fair, you know, taking time and to know people because that matters a lot and that's what i see about africans they take time to learn and to know what kind of a person you are and how much you can do and how much who can ac uh, accept or um appreciate you yeah so that nobody feels um um overtaken or you know or you overdone or someone feel oh no this is too much for me so yes yeah. so that's how we do it and um yes and that's how we we we, we uh we celebrate our christmas 
now next time we're going to celebrate uh, we're going to talk on how we do it we are about the ancestors because with our ancestors uh thing we also do respect of them for example there's a pouring of alcohol on the floor there's that you know uh the food there's a certain food that you don't eat there's a certain food that is meant for elder people there's a certain food that is meant for younger people there's a certain drink that is you're, you're meant for younger people and kids it's not a matter of alcohol and what have you no 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 it's a matter of there's a part of the body of a cow that a woman cannot eat or is not allowed to eat did you get it yes yeah, so make sure to join me next saturday right here on radio rfm home of african music yes and it's um it's europe's number one african station for everything that you'd like to say like i said before with advertisement you can always advertise with us even if you just want to take out your latest music just come and release it here on radio rfm we are african's number one station yes and also Europe's number one African station for advertisement. Yes, always remember to contact us. Remember, we have our social media platforms, which is Instagram, Radio RFM, uh, YouTube, Radio RFM, uh, Facebook, Radio R, uh, Twitter, Radio RFM, uh, on TikTok, Radio R. FM and we have as well have our www.cradior.com that's our website where you can just go and just see the latest that was posted and as well we have our contacts you can read them on our screen right now where you buy you can send your letters send your email on the email for those who are not watching it's radio r1923 at gmail.com yes make sure to just send any kind of email not any kind of email okay something that you'd like to put us out to put it out to the world yes and that marks the end of it and uh, yes comes a question right now sorry hey our so i'm sorry the music that we do we're going to celebrate to, to talk about all this next saturday make sure to join me at radio r fm to talk more about this this is queen v with african guides for kids show and today the topic was how do africa celebrate their christmas make sure we meet next time and until next time ciao 99.2 fm of african music